Okay, last week we discussed about special products including square of a binomial. And today, we will discuss about cube of a binomial. So in solving cube of a binomial, we have the following rules. First, cube the first term. Second, square the first term times the second term times 3. And the third one is square the second term times the first term times 3. And the last rule is cube the second term. So example number 1 given is 2x plus 1 cubed. So first we have to cube the first term which is 2x. So 2x cubed is 8x cubed. And then second, square the first term times the second term times 3. So the first term we have to square the first term. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared times 1. So 4x squared times 1 is 4x squared. And 4x squared times 3 is 12x squared. And then next, square the second term times the first term and then times 3. So 1 squared is 1 times 2x is 2x and then times 3 is 6x. And then the last rule is cube the second term which is 1. So 1 cube is 1 and we have our final answer. Okay, the second example is 3m plus 4n cubed. So first we have to cube the first term. So 3m cubed is 27m cubed. Next, square the first term times the second term times 3. So 3m squared, a uh, 3m squared is 9m squared times 4 is 36m squared n times 3 is equal to 108m squared n. Next, square the second term times the first term times 3. So square the second term. So 4n squared is 16n squared times 3m is 48 m n squared times 3 is 144 m n squared. Last but not the least. So 4n, so cube the second term which is the 4n. So 4n cubed is 64 m cubed. Okay, this is our final answer. 27m cubed plus 108mn m squared n plus 144mn squared plus 64n cubed. So have you noticed that the exponent here in our first variable is in decreasing form and our second variable is in increasing form? Okay, the last example. 5x minus 2y cubed. So first, we have to follow the rules. Cube the first term, which is 5x. So 5x cubed is 125x cubed. And then the second rule is square the first term times the second term times 3. And this result as 150 x squared y and then the third rule is square the second term times the first term times 3 so this results 60 x y squared and then the last rule is cube the second term which is the negative 2 y that results negative y cubed so the final answer is is 125 x cubed minus 150x squared y plus 60xy squared minus 8y cubed. Grade 8 activity. 
To copy and answer in the yellow pad paper, you will match factors in column A with the products in column B to decode the secret message.